Good evening. How's everybody today? Been outside working. I had a slow start to the day. I had a crazy good sleep. Slept in a little bit and then because I slept in it, it was a little bit hard to get started. So, so I had I had some breakfast. I actually had porridge today for the first time in eons. And uh, how long is an eon? Is an eon a length <laughs> or a time? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, a figure of speech, I guess. But um, mosquitoes are still out here. Yeah, I had some uh, um, porridge and then some uh, cold tea and then finally got started. And um, one of the things I was dreading, dreading to, uh, to do is the pump broke. The pump that I used to water the garden with and it wouldn't turn on. I'm like, oh man. I don't want to take all that spaghetti spaghetti plumbing apart, pipes all over the place. You know, once you put it in, you can't get it all back out. So luckily it's plastic, that blue plastic, so I can just cut it. But I was going to, I nearly bought two two inch couplers the other day so I could cut it and take the pump out and see what was wrong with it. Because the electric was there, but um, Jan was here and she says, is there electric there? And I says, I, I don't think so at the moment because, you know, the, the light in the workshop was working the other day, but today the light wouldn't work. So I says, okay, I've got to fix the light first, then I can check all the electricity. And what happens is it gets so humid, so humid, that moisture gets inside the circuit breaker box, fuse box, right? Crazy, huh? If, I'm dancing a little bit because there's bloody mosquitoes everywhere. And um, so I put a chair up on the table and started sitting there taking it all apart. And I have a little electric leaf blower. So I um, blew it up, just sat there for a while without blowing to dry it out. And then the light came on. So oh, cool. So turned the pump on. Well, the pump was unplugged at the pump end. So, turn the pump on, and Jan put a light bulb in, you know, plugged the light in, and it worked. So, she says, do you think the pump will work? I says, I don't know, because the other day, there was electricity there, but obviously not enough electricity, because the pump was just sitting, making a humming noise, all because of that circuit breaker. So, what happened? I sat there with the blower on it, drying the inside of the circuit breaker box out, fuse box out. The light came on, Jan plugged the light in and said, the light's on. I said, okay. So I went over there and plugged the, um, the pump in. Bingo, it's working. So I'm so glad I didn't take it all out the other day. But um, Jan was saying, I knew it would work, I knew it would work. She says, uh, she, she's actually got a degree in engineering, computer engineering, but it's the same fault causing, you know, sequence, she says. So she's giving me a hard time. She says, I told you, I told you. <laughs> and she says, but we did it together. I says, okay. But, um, so, because the circuit breaker had too much moisture in it, it wouldn't let the circuit breaker work. So once the circuit breaker was dry, Once the circuit breaker was dry inside, then it could turn the pump on and then plug the pump in and it works. So I watered the garden a little bit, the, not the big plants, the stuff in the ground, just the stuff that's in pots because they were getting a little bit dry. But um, it's looking good now. See, so I finished watering and the mosquitoes were bothering me and now the water, the wind comes. So if there was a little wind, then they wouldn't have bothered me. I didn't time that right, did I? <laughs> what else have I been doing? I've been trimming these branches back off the electric wire. This one here goes to my house. This one goes down the road. See it? So I had to trim some of those branches off. They were leaning on the wire. So I did that. Tidied up a little bit around that, that light. They don't fix that light anymore, which is fine. I don't really want all this light around here. I, I had to I cut the the um, branches away from the light too. 
and then went all the way along down to that green fence down there chopping it all away from the wires the reason I do that and not the electric company because the electric company's idea is they want to chop them to the ground they came here one day with a chainsaw and I started shouting at them but I know the guy and they just want to cut, cut it all down to nothing that's their, that's their uh, problem solving but I said no I'll trim it so all you need to do is trim the branches away from the wire and that's it right because the tree is, is um, leaning towards the Sun say over here leaning away from the wire towards the Sun so once it's big enough it'll go farther and farther away from the wire so they let me keep it and uh, the big boss wanted them to cut it all down I said no I wouldn't let them the idea is it creates shade and it creates um, it holds the ground together it creates shade and there's a place for the birds to sit you can come out and all kinds of more birds come the, and the idea is and also a windbreak so the windy part of the year the wind comes crazy howling across there sometimes you think the house is going to disappear but these trees break the wind and give shade so you can stand out here in the day on the road here and um, you can stand out on the road here and be in the shade instead of bacon so they let me keep them so I just have to keep them trimmed that's all so I did that today too. Here's the river st moving in slowly slowly it stopped for most of the day but I just wanted to show you something see where the water is right there in front well that's about six inches maybe a foot hard to say from here about a foot from the top of the dirt so if it comes up much farther it'll be on top of my grass here it's still got to come all the way up here though so it's still like it's still probably uh, two and a half to three meters from where it is to get up to here a few years ago it was right up to the edge I'm kind of worried but the rainy season is almost over so I'm pretty sure I'm safe we had two days of two days of no rain, which is great. Which um, haven't had much um, rest from the rain for a few days, but had two days now. I'm really pleased about that. You don't see sugar out here much now. She comes out to eat and goes back in the laundry room, lays on her bed. I put a mosquito coil in there about this time of day, about two hours before sunset is when the mosquitoes really come so I put that in there for her and then by 9, 10, 11, something like that they stop you don't see them in the night so she's safe from bugs today I, she was trying to be out here with me and um, the guy who works over here I brought him a cup of tea and I was just talking to she's like walking around but you can see the bugs are bothering her this all, once it dries out it'll be okay so I sprayed her back in with that off and she uh, don't like that so she scooted off and uh, went to her bed and stayed in her bed she's safe in there they don't bother in there for some reason maybe they can still smell the uh, coils in the daytime but I put them on now she's got one on now and she's on her bed staying away from the bugs so the first drama of the day was the uh, pump and I was so pleased I didn't have to take that pump out and try to fix it I have another one remember I bought one for the waterfall so I could have just swapped it out but it's still I didn't feel like being over there there's mosquitoes and brown ants so I thought, don't feel like being somebody's dinner but anyway John says I bet it works when you get that circuit breaker box fixed or dried out I said I hope so I dried it out the light came on the power to the pump was over there but there was power see what gets me there was power there the other day but obviously not enough because the pump just sat there it didn't turn it just a mmm so it must have been like 10 or 20 volts or something over there just enough to make the, a humming noise so I first thing I thought is the capacitor inside has gone you know, the capacitor helps it turn over when you first start it right your starter capacitor or whatever they're called anyway one of the things you do when you're teaching right we used to, the, the lesson was description action 
operation of controls uh, servicing false causes and remedies right and when you do teach false causes and remedies or whatever subject you're teaching first thing you always say is think simple well I never thought that the circuit breaker box was that wet that it wouldn't let the pump come on it stopped the water to it stopped the, the um, electricity completely to the pump never had that happen before but I learned something it can happen so and Jan was like I told you I told you I says okay smarty but well it was nice I was like oh I had a moment and then when it cooled off a little bit cut all that those branches down watered the garden a little bit done so now I can go in the house and have a shower to stop my legs itching from the mosquitoes what do you think thank you for all your comments on uh, Monday awesome really nice comments I you know I would just enjoy coming out here and sharing with you guys so it's um, nice to share shame you I mean I could go live but then you're not talking you're uh, you're just texting and it's not so fun so anyway kind of one-sided conversation right all right guys I'm gonna go in look after yourselves all the very best Buckets of blessings, rivers of peace, joy, and kindness. Have a great evening. See you Friday. All the best.